All right, we're gonna be checking out some Tinker Town today. We'll be playing about the first 30 minutes. I'll show you how I start my worlds. It's a new sandbox game that you can find on Steam. It's got beautiful graphics um, and survival aspects. Um, so we'll show you what it's like. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new world here. We'll call it Discordia. And I'll show you how I get started. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and start collecting some of these little branches on the floor here. And these are all procedurally generated worlds, so it'll be a different world each time. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and collect as many logs and rocks as possible, and then we'll go ahead and make a pickaxe and an axe to start off. Let's go ahead and take a look. I need three wood and three stone for the axe which is easy enough and then we'll need five stone and then five wood for the pickaxe so we'll need eight of each and we can also you know hit these bushes the bushes will also give you logs on top of um, plant fiber and berries typically which is nice because then you get three resources for one. Just need four more rocks. And then after we get our tools, we're gonna go ahead and chop down a ton of wood. We'll need 10 wood to get a workbench up and running. And that's what we're gonna use to create our house because you'll need a workbench to create basically everything from floors to walls to doors and everything else that you need. So let's go ahead and chop down some trees and I'll be back. All right, now that we've deforested that entire area, let's go ahead and collect some stone. We're gonna need some stone to create a furnace. And then we'll use the furnace to basically craft an anvil and other things as well. And we're going to want to collect coal. And then also these little copper blocks are really nice to get at first too before we head back. Might as well collect as much resources as we can before we head back and start our little house. We have the inventory space for it. collect bones because you can make armor out of the bones as well as a couple other nice things and then you can collect barrels at first barrels are a nice way to store things you can store up to three items in each barrel oh and these are really nice ways to get a bunch of resources too go ahead and chop down this campfire. We can get a campfire ourselves this way and some uh, meat. I believe you use food to restore your health in this game. I think that's the sole purpose. I haven't found any health meat or anything like that you gotta take care of. You also have to take um, caution to avoid water. Water actually hurts you if you try to touch it, so just keep that in mind. I'll kind of show you later what I mean. Yeah, you want to go ahead and harvest all these because they come with string, which is very valuable. You can get the bonfire, and also you can get the totem pole to set down at your own camp, which is kind of nice. I haven't seen one of these before, so this is kind of cool. We'll go ahead and harvest the bones. Is this like a dungeon? Can I go in it? It is a dungeon. This is freaking sick. I don't know if we're ready for this. Come on, bro. Alright, well, we can dodge them apparently. Let's go ahead and put the Probably should make a bow before doing this, but. Kinda want 
that copper now. Then we can make a bow. Ow, that was six. Dude, the music in here is so cool. Let's go ahead and see if this heals us. So we're at 84 health. Let's go ahead and eat this. Whoa! Yep, heals you. Figured. <gasps> You get a free crate? Does it come with anything? No. Still take that. I wonder if this does more damage. Cave got. Oh, yeah, no. We're not going that way. No. Come back with a bow for that area. Three, two, I think it's about the same. Oh shit. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna be able to take out the cave goblins. Not without a bow at least, or armor. Probably shouldn't even be down here right now. <laughs> Give me this. What's this? Oh, just stone. Oh, fuck that room. It's <laughs> another thing we need to vote for. All right, we're coming back with a bow. I think we have enough leather and string though to create something nice with it though. And honestly, if we collect all these bones, we can create bone armor and go back. <clears throat> oh, I should also eat the berries. So berries are okay for HP. How much HP? I'm at 73. Berries give you 5 HP. Interesting. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and create a house. I mean, we could create a house using all these old ruins. I wonder if there's a way to clear these stupid bushes, though. It would be kind of cool to incorporate the ruined walls into the house itself. Because this looks like our spawn point right here. So let's go ahead and create a workbench. What happens if we place it right here? Cool with that. Bum 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 bum. So we need wood floors. Let's go ahead and make 30 of each. That sounds decent. for the camp. Let's continue making this.
There's my house, dude. Just like that. You know what I need to do, though? I need to get rid of this here. And <clears throat> somehow just put this in the wall. Yeah. Bum 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 bum. There's my door. The little birdhouse. You look like an intellectual. Go grab one of those. I want to look like an intellectual. Supposedly I have an extra door somehow. <laughs> Place our totem pole there. We need some torches to fend off um, creatures at night. So we'll go ahead and create some of those and put them around camp. You can place them on torches and these other like stone pillars. So we'll place them kind of in a perimeter around the house. You can even actually create <clears throat> maybe two more. I'll put another one on this farther pillar. We can do the same on this side. <clears throat> For the bow, you're going to have infinite ammo, so you're not going to have to worry about crafting any arrows or anything like that. And it does about 8 damage. 4 to 8 damage, it looks like. Can't shoot through bushes, but it will destroy the bush. Nice. Just like that. Easy clap. So now with the bow, we can actually go back and take on that dungeon. See how far we can get. I want to say we can create cloth somehow, too. Let's go ahead and slap down our furnace, though. Pop of balls. Great stone walls, stone pillars. Outfitter station is what we need. Outfitter three string. Okay, we need to go take on another goblin camp somewhere. You can also create your own string with plant fiber. I guess I didn't need a tent. Ah, uh, good times. Alright, so we'll go ahead and go back to our camp, we'll make some armor, and then we'll go take on the freaking um, dungeon that we found. Let's see how far we can get in that. I think we'll be able to get pretty far now that we have a bow. So without armor, I'm taking like 9 to 12 damage from this guy's bow. Or 8 to 12. Let's go ahead and make the outfitter station so we can make everything else that we need. Alright, so can okay. go ahead and make a skull helmet? Because that sounds sick! Um, we can make skull gloves, leather. So, leather, we're gonna need some more string so we can make some more string since we got some plant fiber. And then we can use the string to create some cloth and we can create a bed. Oh, there was only one cloth. Ooh. So we need a lot of string. That's what it comes down to. As you can see, the water hurts you. Oh, dude, the plant fiber is just going straight into the ground. How do I get it? I'm going to die to water, dude. Oh my god. Wait, what? The goblins can destroy those, but I can't? Bruh. There's something I'm doing wrong. The 
goblins can destroy this. I should be able to, right? Did he throw something at it? What did he do? I don't know. Let's go ahead and chop down there. Camp. Get everything we need from it. Oh, look at all that sweet string, dude. So let's see here. We'll go ahead and make one more cloth. Let's go ahead and make a couple leather. Make gloves. I kind of want the chest piece. So we'll make one more leather and then we'll get the skeleton chest piece. Excellent. Then we can create like an any flag, carpet. No, we don't want to do that. We'll use the cloth. We need the cloth for the bed. Excellent, dude. Good. That. We look sick. We can create an anvil too. So we'll go ahead and create one of those. Slap that puppy down. Save point. Or spawn point saved. Yay! Let's see, I don't need... Oh, well, I had plant fiber all the time. <clears throat> so we should keep this on us. We don't need these. We don't need this on us at all times. Bat wings we can keep. String we can keep. Everything else we can kind of just keep. Let's go see how far we can get in the dungeon now that our house is complete. Ooh, I know. Bum, 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 bum. <clears throat> Alright, dude, we got this.